Hello and thank you for joining my channel. Today we're looking at creating altars. Creating an altar raises the vibration of the space within our home and ourselves. So the altars can help us connect with angels and ascended masters that you resonate with, that you may follow or feel inspired by. It creates a positive sacred space conducive for healing, prayer, meditation, contemplation and manifesting. And what the altar can do, it creates a focal point for your spiritual practice. So choose the location for your altar, perhaps somewhere you feel relaxed or that you chill out or meditate and start setting it up. Now, the first rule is throw out the rule book. There is no right or wrong way of working. It's about what has meaning for you and what resonates with you. So you can place anything on your altar, depending what your intention for the altar is. So some of the popular things that we would place on an altar would be an angel statue or figurine, little Buddhas, fresh flowers, essential oils, incense. I've got an example of raw incense on a charcoal disc in this video. Candles, crystals, feathers, singing bowls, pieces of artwork, pictures. You can use items to represent the four elements, air, water, earth and fire. And feathers can symbolise angels on earth as well as in higher realms and dimensions. So there are many things you can place on the altar, but using ornaments, or symbols like sacred geometry or anything that you are drawn to on your path, anything that you feel connected to for your, you know, that resonates with you. That's the important thing. Sacred altars can be created to set intentions for manifesting. So one example could be to create an altar for the new year goals and just place on there what represents what you want to achieve or bring towards you in the coming months. They can be for peace and harmony or to heal a relationship. It can be any intention you want to set to it. So you can update and change the altars accordingly. You can do, I'll probably do a post on dragon altars where you can do the water element. So showing gratitude and honouring the water dragon and so on like that with the elements. So it's just a little taster and I hope you enjoy the videos. Thank you for watching.